Incorporated family has announced a new ride opening in their Los Angeles and Orlando theme parks. The ride, Happy Valley Rehab, was inspired by Disney stars such as Hannah Montana, Raven Simone, and Lindsay Lohan. Happy Valley Rehab riders ride through and experience the different steps of rehab, including addiction, arrest, and withdrawal. Disney Imagineers have even included a paparazzi escape chute and a 20-foot dash into a waiting stretch Hummer. <laughs> now isn't that just exciting? <laughs> just like real life. In other news, the FCC has assigned full copyrights to several advertising agencies and public relations firms for these words, extreme, authentic, organic, and greatest. Whole Foods and affiliated companies have copyrighted the word organic. We are now live via satellite with Daniel Leake's Whole Foods Head of Product Merchandising. Hey there, Daniel. Hello, Nolan. It's great to be here. Great to have you here via satellite. Now, Daniel, can you tell us why Whole Foods has declared full copyrights to the word organic? Well, um, we here at Whole Foods decided that organic is a term commonly misused. This has caused a saturation of organic products in the market. Whole Foods is proud to be the leading expert on organic produce and its byproducts. And we decided that copywriting the term, we proudly and truly declare any produce or product as organic. Now, Daniel, many farmers usually grow organic quality produce. By copywriting the word, these farmers now have to pay additional fees when merchandising their goods. Is that right? Yes, it is. These fees have caused financial setbacks for local farmers and have put a few out of business. It has even caused a small riot last Sunday at the farmer's market in Union Square. It's reported that grocers threw rotten tomatoes at the Whole Foods store, and police were forced to pepper spray the angry farmers. What's your take on this? Well, Nolan, we at Whole Foods fully support our local farmers, but we stand firm in our belief in organic produce, not organic quality produce. Produce, not farmers, are where our hearts of artichoke are at. Well, that riot was really quite the statement, wasn't it, Nolan? <laughs> yes, Julie, a little toss of the salad, if you will. <laughs> ah. Now for sports with your favorite sports expert, Nolan Chatiar. Thank you. The San Francisco Giants announced today that they have officially broken the Guinness Book of World Records for Buffett's sports team. The former record was held by a Chinese Olympic swim team in 1992. In other sports news, comedian Frank Caliendo impressed Charles Barkley with his impersonation of Sir Charles himself. It can be found on YouTube. That's it for sports. Action. It's time now for Channel 13's newest segment, Cats in the News. Let's take a look at today's amazing cats, courtesy of Whiskas. by Extreme Corp and Channel 13 News. Breaking news has just been reported to our Channel 13 studios. Nowhere else can you get harder, better, faster, stronger news. Nolan Chatiar has the latest report. Thank you, Julia. Police have just rushed the scene. There's a crowd gathering. The rest of the story can be found on tomorrow morning's 6 o'clock news. Good night, America.
is never over. Forget.